Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to do some basic kind of theming and app editing um, on your computer. So let me just kind of go over what we're going to talk about today. It's going to be kind of a long video, but hopefully very informative for you. Um, you're going to need to have APK tool. This is what we're going to go use. This allows you to decompile and recompile applications. Um, so I'm going to go through this. What I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to kind of pre-make up everything you should need on your computer to do this and put it in a zip. So it'll kind of give you all your files where you need them already. So let me just kind of show you that really quick. This is what I'm going to give you guys. It's all going to be zipped into one file called, uh, well it's actually going to be called APK tool when I'm done, but this is the zip I'm going to be creating for you guys. And you'll just extract this and you'll have all these all these files in it. Okay, And this is the format they need to be set up in already. Um, so it should be really easy, easy to use. And then this is 7-zip, which is a use, program you use to do some of this editing, editing also. Um, so if you get this and you extract it and put it on your computer and um, put it in the right place. Um, also just really quick, I also put in here a bunch of notes with directions on this. Like here it tells you right here it tells you um, where to install it at. You want to be under C drive user and then your username and then APK tool. So there's good directions in here um, to really understand it. There's some commands and if you go into signing there's some commands here, copy paste lines, you can just copy paste into command prompt um, to do some of these steps. So I got a whole bunch of stuff packaged up really nice for you guys, so hopefully this will be pretty easy to do for you um, and get it set up. You also are going to need, besides my zip here, you're going to need to get, um, make sure you have Java and the newest version of Java on your computer installed because it uses this jar file, which is Java based, so you need it to run that file. So let's get back to what I have over here. Um, first thing you want to do in setting this up guys to go ahead and edit some applications is to pull your framework res.apk and your system UI. Get these extracted from your device whatever it is. This is actually going to be a Droid X. Is, these are the two files I pulled off here. Um, they both can be found in system slash framework and system slash apps. That's where they are on your device. You're going to need to use a file explorer of some sort to pull them. Um, you're obviously going to have to have root permission to do these two steps here obviously to uh, do that to get these off of your device and then get them onto your computer. So first step is you got all your stuff set up here. These two files are mine. You don't have to worry about them. The other stuff is going to be in that zip like I said. And the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and I'm also running Windows 7 just so you guys know but go ahead and hold shift on your keyboard right click and then open command window here and click on that and that gets you this command window now um, like I said I've already pre made up commands for you guys that should make this really simple but just so you can see again here we are on C drive slash user slash the name of my computer slash APK tool so to set this up we need to get those two files your system and your framework and they need to be stored in here for reference while decompiling and compiling um, applications so they should be stored in here like this 1 and 2 or 1 and 127 so I'm going to delete these and just show you guys how they are actually created um, so what you do and I've got this for you guys too I'm going to take this uh, this right here and this is a file that I wrote up for you guys. So all you're going to do is you're going to copy this line, apk tool if framework res .apk, copy it, and go ahead and paste it into terminal and hit enter. And it just created that one .apk file. And then we're going to go back to it and we're going to copy this line right here, which is apk tool if system UI. .apk, copy, paste, enter. And there's the other one. So we're going to close down terminal for a second. You can close down this command window. Like I said, that's going to be in the zip file you guys have. You'll see that readme file. 
Um, and then if we go to framework now, you can see we have the 1 and the 127, which it needs for compiling new apps for you guys. So that is the first thing you got to do when setting this up is get your frameworks set up right here. Um, now that we have that set up, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some commands for um, decompiling an application. Here's an application I have right here. So basically this is pretty simple. Um, what you're going to do is, what I like to do is go ahead and rename and then just copy that because you're going to need that string later. So copy, open terminal up that we still have open and you're just going to type in should be apk tool d for decompile and then just paste in the name of the application you're decompiling paste and uh, hit enter oh that was funny okay so I messed that up because I didn't actually type in apk at the end of this so let's do it again apk tool D for decompile, paste in the name, and then we have to type in dot apk, and then hit enter. And it's going to go ahead and decompile the entire app, which is very quick and simple because there's not much to it. And that process is done. And now you can see this file got added right here. This is the decompiled application. Um, so if you want to edit things, you can get into some of these other things. The most times what you're probably going to be editing is right here, which is the res file. So um, basically what you're going to do is come in here. Let's go to HDPI. And like here's an icon for it. This is the icon for the application. I'm just going to go ahead and um, edit this in Paint just to show you guys really simple how this works. Um, so we're going to go into zoom in, alright, and let's say I want these, oh I don't know what's a good color, I like green, we'll do green. So I'm just going to just really quick, whoop, green out some of this, so you got a yellow green kind of logo instead of just yellow. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and just hit click save right there and close out this program. You can see it's saved right here. And we can just back out of that, back to our main screen. And it sees this right here. Um, so all we should have to do at this point is go back into terminal. And we just edited a file, we saved the file. So it still sees that as a resource. And we're just going to type in apk tool b for build and then paste in the name of it and I'm not sure if you need APK or not I don't think you do we're gonna try it and if it does it fails we'll put in the APK at the end the dot APK let's hit enter right here yeah you do not need the dot APK on the build and it's done so we'll close it down and to get to the file or the APK you just created you go in here and this is what you had before but now it also has builds and it has this so this is the f stuff again th that you just built and this is the APK you just edited. So if we, if you just send this to your phone, it won't install, it'll fail because you haven't signed it. Um, but I'm just going to show it to you. We go into res and we go to icon. Now oh, I got to extract it, hang on. Um, let's just extract it. Yes, extract. This is in 7-zip. That's why I attached, added this program, because you're going to need 7-zip. So if we go into here, you can see that it is green and yellow. So it is in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that out. And so what we need to do is we need to copy this. We want to make it so we can install it, right? So then we're going to set it. See here, sign APK. We're going to drill into here, and we're going to paste it in here paste all right now see this copy paste this to command lines this is what you need to copy and paste into 
this when you open a command window here. So again, we're going to open a command window. Open command window, and it's under user, my name, my computer, APK, sign APK. So now all we got to do is go in here and copy this entire line. Copy. Open terminal. And paste it in. Now, everything's right except for these two things. We got to fill them in. So we got to do the name of the APK. I just copy paste, it's easier than typing. And you don't have to worry about messing anything up. So we're going to do this one right here. We're going to say, and I copy, hang on. Rename, highlight it, copy, go back over here. And we're going to backtrack and then we're going to delete this. And we're going to paste. And then we got to add the dot apk. And then we're just going to space. And then we're going to call the net, whatever we want to call it. I'm just going to call this test. If I can type correctly. And uh, we can go ahead and delete all of this stuff right here. So what's going to happen is it's going to sign this APK right here and then it's going to output it as a test APK. And so all you got to do here is hit enter. And if I did it correctly, I did not. Let's try this again here. Oh, I had a couple steps problems with the step here. So just copy paste this stuff in here. Make sure you label the out APK like test APK as an APK, not just leave it as test. That was my uh, issue I had there a second ago, I think. So we're going to go ahead and hit this now. Okay, so there you go. That worked that time. Um, so now we have the test APK, which if we open and we extract our icon extract we can see that it is the colored one and it is now signed I'm going to delete that right there just to show it to you see colored um, and it is signed so you can go ahead and what I like to do is um, cut and just put it somewhere else let's just put it in my right here for right now paste it and then you want to go ahead and rename it right here so rename this cop copy it and then go back to your test and do a rename and paste it back to the original name and now you have an edited APK that is resigned and ready to install on your device so that is the long version of how to basically edit the images on an APK which is an app and this is the Android Wi-Fi tether application that I just edited and now it will install everything should work perfectly fine now that you decompiled edited recompiled and signed so that is how to do a system app I'm gonna go into I mean a user app and I'm gonna go into some system app stuff like the framework and the system UI on my next video I think that's probably enough for now on just user apps and editing, editing them um, and we'll do it on the next video on system framework res and system UI and we'll go into that you will be using this exact same infrastructure right here and the zip I gave you guys in the video description um, so hope this is interesting for you guys and uh, kind of get you guys into this maybe a little theming a little bit and really editing some app icons or whatever you want for what the way you like to do it you can use paint you can use you know Adobe uh, Photoshop or something like that whatever good image editing program you have these are all PNG files those are picture files um, so that kind of wraps up for this video I'm gonna keep continuing on this as long so we're gonna make it a two-parter and uh, we'll catch you guys later hey please check me out right here guys at rootjunkie.com you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter uh, as always thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys next time